still there in South Africa. South Africans and fans around the world are paying tribute to legendary jazz trumpeter and anti-apartheid activist Hugh Masekela. He died on Tuesday after a long battle with cancer. Among his most memorable music was the hit single Bring Him Back Home, a protest song Masekela wrote demanding the release of Nelson Mandela from prison. But Masekela recorded countless other solos and worked with big names in the music industry, including Senegal's Yosun Du and American Paul Simon. Viewers Maria Mediala looks back at Masekela's long career in music and political activism. Jazz legend Hugh Masekela uplifted the soul of an entire nation through his timeless music. South African officials said on Tuesday after the passing of a man they called a one-of-a-kind musician. He's known for many hits, including Bring Back Nelson Mandela, a tribute to the former South African president. But on my birthday in 1985, Nelson Mandela sent me a birthday uh, card letter, actually, that was smuggled out of Portsmouth prison, and in it, in it, I, um, I, um, he just like encouraged us, you know, with the music school and with the, um, the recordings. And he knew everything. He you knew my children's names, he knew my wife's name. Well, he's gone to school with my wife's father at the University of Fort Hare. And he just wished me luck with all these things. But it was just a letter, and I was blown away. I went to the piano and I started singing Bring Back Nelson Mandela. Many today are fondly remembering the legendary musician who they affectionately refer to as Bra Hugh. He wasn't a musician who was too aware of his own greatness. You know, he was always open to, to sharing and, 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 and to teaching. That was for me one of his greatest gifts, you know, his ability to share what he knew and his long you know, legendary achievements never got in the way of him looking at somebody who's studying out and saying, what are you doing? How can I help? President Jacob Zuma praised the legendary trumpeter, cultural activist and liberation struggle veteran as the one who kept the torch of freedom alive, globally fighting apartheid through his music. His family says he passed peacefully in Johannesburg after a courageous battle with prostate cancer. Mariama Jalou, VOA News.